Hey guys, so I'm having some difficulties with my camera. I don't know what it's doing really when I try to open it. It just does that. I don't know what that is. I think maybe it just needs to be charged for a little bit. Hopefully that's it. But I just wanted to do really quickly my week 19 update and uh, show you guys my belly because I will be 20 weeks tomorrow and I wanted to do this really quick. So basically, just a few quick updates. My hands and feet are still falling asleep while I sleep, or not really while I sleep, but as soon as I lay down, my hands will start falling asleep and my legs too. And like I said, I'm sorry if it's like shaking too much. I'm gonna try to hold it steady. Um, I had mentioned in my last, or in some of my previous videos, that I had done some ultrasounds on my legs to see if I had any blood clots or anything and that might have been the reason why my legs were falling asleep but everything came out negative, I didn't have anything and the doctors don't really know why my legs are falling asleep and this has been happening since I got pregnant so I know some people start feeling that once they're bigger and into the pregnancy and they've gained some weight so their legs start falling asleep because of the extra weight that they're carrying but I like I said it happened right from the start so that can't be the reason and we really don't know and now my hands are also falling asleep when I lay down and and it's really weird but I think my husband's here it's really weird but you know, there's nothing wrong, there's no blood clots or anything like that. I went to my an appointment today and I don't have an infection anymore, so that's gone. I was taking antibiotics for a very long time and I finally got off of them and I don't have it anymore. One very <coughs> weird thing, sh no barking, no. One very weird thing that I, it's a good positive thing because the pregnancy um, has made this go away. But, um, somebody's walking by the house, that's why. Champus, come here. No barking, okay? No barking. No. So, is that I was anemic for a very long time, and as soon as I got pregnant, the anemia went away. And I also had a lot of kidney issues, and I had a reflux in my kidney, and, and I guess because of that, I was, um, kind of not filtering. Since the kidney is basically your body's filter, I was not really filtering protein, protein and blood and I was releasing them through my urine. So whenever you go to the doctor and they ask you to pee in the little cup, um, it's to check a bunch of things. But some of the things that they check is are you you know, letting go of any protein or any blood. Um, and it's microscopic blood. It's not blood that you can actually, it's not visible. And I would always have that. So I would hate peeing in the cup because it was always bad news. It was always you are releasing protein, why, and this, and more exams because of that, and and now I don't. And, and they say that normally when you become pregnant, you start reducing, um, releasing, sorry, uh, protein for whatever reason, and I'm not, I'm not at all. So that's great news. Um, I've gained six pounds. Like I said, it'll be 20 weeks tomorrow, and I do my pregnancy updates towards the end of the week because I wanna just let you guys know what happened during that week. And not at the beginning. I know a lot of people do it the day they become, let's say t tomorrow would be my 20 week update. But you don't really know anything about your 20 weeks at, at that point. So that's the way I see it. And um, I've gained six pounds. I say seven pounds because when I first went to my doctor, I was 122 pounds, which is a lot for me. Um, I was normally, my regular weight was kind of like 109. But for the past two years, I've kind of stopped working out like I used to. And and when I started trying to get pregnant, which is five months, five, six months before we actually got pregnant, I gained a lot of weight for some reason. So I don't know if it was the stress, the frustration, or, or whatever it was, but I gained weight also. So I was at 115 for a very long time. That's kind of like my regular weight. And when I got pregnant, I was 122. So that's insane. <laughs> But I've only gained six pounds in the first, I guess, 19, 20 weeks. So it's good. Uh, the doctor says it's not too little or anything like that, that it's good and that the baby's a really 
it's an average size and or she's an average size and um uh, and she's weighing nine ounces so that's good and i think it's like ten and a half inches if i'm not mistaken but so that's really good I've, i haven't gained a lot of weight and i'm not really trying not to gain weight i just i'm not trying to eat a lot and i feel like that's what happens with a lot of girls that get pregnant they think you gotta eat for two you gotta eat for two so whatever you would normally eat let's say a plate of rice and some meat or whatever you're eating you you overeat because you think now that you're pregnant you have to eat for two but that's really not the case you don't have to overeat in order for your baby to be healthy so i'm kind of just i am trying to eat healthy there healthier than i was before because before i was just eating really bad but the proportion isn't a humongous amount you know i eat lots of snacks like carrots throughout the day and nuts and stuff like that but it's not like humongous proportions when i actually sit down and eat a plate of food it's not a lot to have to feed for two so that's that's kind of the only thing i've been doing and what else i've this week i started with a little bit of heartburn i know they say that heartburn is associated with if the baby's gonna have a full head of hair and if you don't have heartburn the baby's gonna be born bald. <laughs> I was a bald baby, and I really don't mind if the baby's bald or has a full head of hair, but I have gotten, I think probably every single day, just a little bit. It's not crazy heartburn, uh, but it's there. It's a little bit, and it kind of, you know, it kind of bothers, but then it goes away right away. And if you guys are having heartburn, my husband will always tell me, even before I got pregnant and I would get heartburn, is that, you could drink a little, like kind of like a little shot of milk, and the milk is so, I guess, uh oh, battery's dying on my phone too. Um, the milk is so, I guess, thick that it just coats your your stomach, kind of like Pepto Bismol's made to do, and the heartburn goes away, and it really does help. I don't, or I used to not drink milk at all, but we would have milk just for those occasions, and it really does help. So. I haven't take, had had to do that because normally when I have heartburn, I'm at work, so I can't just go to my fridge and get some milk. But that definitely does help. And like I said, the heartburn isn't that bad. That you know, it doesn't it goes away in a few minutes, so it's not a big deal. And what else is to update this week? I think that's about it. I'm I have a lot of baby things to show you guys. So hopefully by the time I finish this video, my camera will come back to life and I can show you all the stuff that we got for the baby um, on my actual camera it doesn't look like it's gonna survive hopefully there's nothing wrong with it because I don't want to buy a new camera right now but um, I think that's about it oh my belly button is starting to come out I think some some of you were writing to me asking when um, in the pregnancy the belly button supposed to come out and my answer to all of you were it was um everybody is different so it's not if i tell you okay i'm 19 weeks and now my belly button's coming out everybody's different my good friend that i danced with really a lot i danced with her we were on the high school dance team together then we we're in college dancing together and then we we're dancing professional uh i don't know if many of you know but um Dolphin cheer I was a dolphin cheerleader and I for one year we did it together. So she's actually pregnant and she's due December 28th and I'm due January 1st. So we're two, three days apart and she's having a boy. So we were really excited. I knew she was having a boy. We got together and her belly was just way more popped out than mine. And we basically have the same time. I mean, we're due two, three days apart. So her belly button... Um, I'm guessing it was popped out. We didn't really talk about that, but everybody's different. It just depends how you grow and stuff like that. A lot of people at work are saying that my belly is not that big for five months or, you know, basically five months now. And many of you might be different. So many of you might pop out sooner or later. It just all depends. And even if you pop out, sometimes your belly button doesn't really pop out to the very end, but mine is starting to pop out. So I'm just going to try. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to try to show you a quick oh belly shot okay so here's the belly 
It is definitely popped out and very, very hard. And here is the actual Bowie. There it is. Very, very popped out. Is that my dog? Can you see my dog in the background? Oh, no. There she is. <laughs> um, so there it is. Here's from the front. I wonder if you could see. Wait. See the top of my belly button is kind of coming up. up. The bottom one isn't. It's still in. But the top is starting to come out. So that was a question a lot of you guys had. And this is the other side. Sorry if the lighting is off. But that's the other side. This is the front. And to the other side again. So that's about it. Oop. <laughs> So, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And I'm sorry this video is not going to be that great of quality because I didn't film it with my camera and I had to use my iPhone. But hopefully it's not that bad. If you guys have any questions, just please let me know. And I'll see you guys very soon for the biggest baby buys videos I've made so far. So, see you guys. Bye.